today. Next to me is Chef Will from the patio in San Diego, California. And the chef has been nice enough to let us do some cooking segments with him up here uh, this morning. And uh, hey, Chef, and my viewers, can you give them a, a little tip on how to cook fish? Some of the common mistakes you see your, your friends do when you, uh, when you visit their homes? Yeah, every day you see something different. I mean, even in the industry itself, you know, you see people that they don't buy fish that's fresh or they don't cook it properly. Uh, you know, I think you were telling me earlier that you, the thing's already dead. You don't want to kill it even more. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's the same process. I mean, you don't want to overkill the ingredients. You know, you're letting it, you're, when you're cooking it, you want to be as gentle as you possibly can, but also have the heat to the point where you want to, you know, if you're getting sear, it's got to be hot. You're not uh -huh. going to get any sear if it's not going to be hot. You know, people at home, they don't have the, the same quality kitchens that we have here where they get to be able to get those temperatures and everything like that. Um, but the thing is, you don't always want to over, you don't ever want to overcook fish. I mean, uh, it, everybody knows that an overcooked piece of fish is the worst thing in the world in my eyes. Uh, so, and the best part about, you know, being in San Diego, you get the freshest fish you possibly can, and that's the biggest thing. Uh, every day we get our fish in, and you know, now that it's April 1st, we have our receiver's license. We're going to be getting yellowtail in every single day, uh, as fresh as you can possibly get it, literally out of the water. Straight from yeah, the boat. a few hours right before, right off the boat. That's uh, one thing I've learned about being here today with you is that you have so many local fish mm -hmm. and I haven't seen one fish in here that's been frozen. No, not at all, no. I mean, everything I see the sous chefs working on yep. and they've handed to you is just fresh. Uh, we, we, we won't touch anything that's frozen. We like to be a scratch kitchen. You know, we, we have all our vegetables that come in. We can't have really good vegetables with frozen fish. Mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, do us justice there. So fresh fish is always the biggest thing. So right now our chef has a sculpin cooking up that we're filming a dish for. And in between uh, cooking this up, we're filming this little video blog for you that you're going to see right now or you're enjoying right now on my YouTube channel. It's kind of like behind the scenes. So, Chef, uh, a fish like a scope, and I would think of cutting every spine out of it that's mm -hmm. poisonous. I see here you just... We just left it on there. Right. It's, it's part of the whole natural It's part of the whole, yeah, the whole presentation. So, I mean, even when we're, when we're setting it out on the plate, we'll, we'll pull the spines up a little bit, act towards the presentation as well. Uh, you know, the poison factor goes away once they're dead and it's not as poisonous. Um, when they're coming right out of the water, you touch that thing and you're, you're, not, you're not going to be feeling too well. I've but, been uh, stuck many, many times. Yeah, it's not fun. <laughs> it's an instant infection. It's not, it's not a good day for you. Um, so our viewers, if they've never been here, mm -hmm. it's the patio, Mission Hills, right next to Crest Hill, right on the border there. A uh, very strong community up here. Yeah, we, we have a, our following. We have a lot of regulars that come in. And start, that, that's our support right there. We have people that come in here sometimes two, three, four times a week. Um, and they're always coming in trying different things here and there. Um, being that we are the only cheese cave in San Diego and Southern California, a lot of people do come down here for that. We have a great cheese program, charcuterie program. I do a lot of stuff in the house uh, in the sense of curing our own meats, um, you know, curating our own cheese and everything like that. Um, but it's all about fresh seafood over here, being that we're in San Diego, so. And the, the room looks beautiful, nice big bar area. Yeah, So good. I can see this is a big social hangout, uh, too. The tequila is all I have to say. We have, <laughs> we have hundreds of tequila. Um, our general manager, Chris Simmons, he's a catador, which is a sommelier of tequilas, pretty wow. much. Uh, uh, it's, and the amount of tequilas that we have, trust me, I know all about it. So we're, we're, uh, we're, cool. we're, all, we're all drinking tequila and uh, we're eating, eating some good food. Oh, cool. Yeah. I'll let our viewers know where they can find you. Uh, we're on 4020 Goldfin Street in San Diego, right in between Hillcrest and Mission Hills. Uh, we're, we're open seven, Facebook. Facebook, social media, Instagram. We're, we're all over that. And, uh, you know, I try to take uh, at least once a, pic a picture once a day and get our food out there on Instagram. And that way everybody can see what we're doing day by day. And you guys open breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yep. That's a neighborhood place. And that's it. We're always open. Always open. Never closed. All right. Well, thank you, Chef. Thanks a lot, Tim. Appreciate it. Don't forget to follow them on Facebook, too, and go to their website. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe right here to my YouTube channel. We'll be talking to you again really soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.